matchstick does the matchstick burn on its own at room temperature no then how does it burn it burns when you rub it on the surface of the matchbox why is that so why can't it burn at room temperature on its own because the ignition temperature of the matchstick is higher than the room temperature so for the matchstick to burn it has to go to that temperature now when you rub the matchstick on the rubbing surface of the matchbox it is heated and it reaches the ignition temperature and starts burning but now if we take a candle and rub on the matchbox surface will the candle also burn of course not it won't burn it's only the matchstick that is rubbed on the surface and then matchstick burns now why does this happen what is present in the match head of the matchstick and what is present on the surface of the matchbox all these questions will be answered in this lesson initially there were two compounds potassium chlorate and antimony trisulfide which were they potassium chlorate and antimony trisulfide they were mixed with white phosphorus and applied on the head of the matchstick with some glue and the matchstick was made up of a suitable wood whereas the rubbing surface of the matchbox was made up of powdered glass now the white phosphorus ignites very soon it catches fire very soon so it proved to be dangerous both for the workers who manufactured the matchsticks as well as to the users who used them so nowadays we do not have three things in the match head there are only two things present in the match head that is potassium chlorate and antimony trisulfide whereas the rubbing surface of the match box contains powdered glass and little red phosphorus which is less dangerous than the white phosphorus okay now let us see what happens when the match is struck against the rubbing surface of the box this time what happens is red phosphorus gets converted to white phosphorus this white phosphorus then reacts with the potassium chlorate which is present in the match head of the matchstick now during this reaction heat is evolved due to this heat antimony trisulfide starts catching fire and the combustion of the matchstick starts now during the reaction of white phosphorus and potassium chlorate even oxygen is released due to this oxygen the combustion continues okay that was such a long process so let us quickly revise the entire process what happens when the match stick is struck against the box the red phosphorus converts to white phosphorus then the white phosphorus reacts with potassium chlorate what does it react with potassium chlorate and this potassium chlorate is pl placed in the head of the match stick during this reaction a lot of heat is liberated now who catches fire because of this heat because of the heat the antimony trisulfide present in the match head catches fire and the combustion of the match stick starts match sticks that we use now had actually developed 200 years ago but they were used even before that more than 5000 years ago in egypt people used to use small pieces of pine wood dipped in sulfur as matches